So Box Springs police officer just testified that he prayed with Jordan Edwards' brother while Jordan was dying from a gunshot wound to the head. That very testimony is part of the murder trial of fired Bulk Springs police officer Roy Oliver. Steve Pickett's been in court. He's stepped out for us at the Crowley Courts building in Dallas to update us. Steve? Uh, yeah, this officer who his dash cam video you will see here in just a second. A very emotional testimony for this family stepped out of this courtroom not to watch their other children have to go through this process that was recorded on this video. Uh, they just watched Jordan Edwards' brothers on this video that you'll see, folks, literally cry for help, saying their brother is dead. This is that dash cam video. They were begging for help as police were ordering them out of the car. This is back on April of 2017. On this video, you can hear another officer curse the kids with his commands to get them out of that car on that night. This video came after a day of analyzing the shooting itself. In this particular video, Grant Fredericks analyzes video. The video supports that the officer is. In this case, the video of the moments tied to the shooting of Jordan Edwards. Hey, stop that Body cam video from defendant and former police officer Roy Oliver, along with video from officer Tyler Gross, were shown frame by frame at times to this jury of seven women and five men. The body cams recorded the actions of each officer just seconds before Oliver fired on the car occupied by the 15 year old Mesquite teenager. Oliver claimed the car was moving toward Gross to explain his reason for the shooting. In Frederick's testimony today, it included images showing just the opposite. So the defendant is firing at that car after it's passed him. Yes, yeah, so the car is moving away. Uh, the, um, the shot was fired. I don't have any evidence about the ballistics and what hit what. But if a shot hit the vehicle, it would be coming off of that angle from behind the car. Prosecutors argue Oliver was trigger happy and killed Edwards for no reason. The defense argues Oliver opened fire on what he thought was a threat. His five shots into that car took just seconds. And again, most of the day focused on analyzing that video and the actions, what uh, prosecutors would say are criminal actions by Roy Oliver. Uh, as you know, he was fired from that department. He was indicted and now facing this murder charge. This jury is done for the day. They will return, they return here in the morning, although they will not hear testimony that begins at 9 a.m. We expect this jury to really come back into this courtroom about 12 noon tomorrow. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.